tremendous event when you think that there's 70 teams playing here over two days. Uh, you have age groups from under 8 to under 9, under 10 and under 11. And I think the people at Rosario, who I know put so much hard work into creating an event like this, deserve a, an awful lot of credit. Belfast is a great sporting city, but you know, the important thing about sport is sport unites people. Um, sport is the common ground in which we can unite. To come to the middle of the Armour Road, to be hosted by the great Rosario Football Club, which itself has maybe 20, 25 football teams at junior level out of the weekend, to have 70 teams from across the city and farther afield here today is a great thrill. So really marvellous to, to be here with so many young people, young ambassadors for Belfast. The ethos of it is, is to get children away from Xboxes, away from trouble in street corners, drinking and drugs and any, and just get them playing football and a healthy lifestyle. Any tournament the kids are into, I mean, you can see the, the smiles on their faces and the way they're all enjoying it and getting prepared for it. And that's the same as any tournament, but this one here makes it a bit special. There was other tournaments arranged for this week, and we came to this one to defend it, so it speaks volumes for, for how much of a high regard it's held in. Every kid wants to play football, so they want to play in different teams, they want to play in competitions, so it's a great opportunity for to get kids from all across Belfast playing with each other, playing football. They're not interested where people are coming from and they're just seeing everyone from Belfast and playing football and that's a great thing. Well, Rosario was a fun tournament, so we just like coming back, having a bit of fun, kicking a ball. Well it's a bit of a competition, but it is really fun. I think this is my third tournament I've been at. Every tournament is be great. Go out in the street and kick a ball up against the wall and just stuff like that and parties with keepy-ups. But it's not better come to things like these. I would really like to come here in the future and I would love to keep coming. Well, it's a bit bigger, but yeah, it's it's good because it, you get to like you get to really see what a full size pitch would be and like what it would be like in a proper full size game. Football is our favourite sport, which uh, and we would be sad to let it go. I would be sad if this uh, Rosario tournament closed, well, stops, but because it's probably the funnest tournament I've ever played. I really like meet me, other people and it's fun to play with. I think it's very important, the fact that we live in Belfast and we cross between all religions, mainly Catholic and Protestant, but it's just important that they all work together and we're all basically the same, we all have to be friends. The big thing that sport does is it changes mindsets, gives people ambition, uh, but for young people in particular, the beautiful game teaches teamwork, teaches discipline, teaches commitment. Uh, teaches you know really a determination, tenacity. But the wonderful thing about the game of football and it finishes, they shake hands, and we can't do enough of that in Belfast. So I really take my hat off to this uh, wonderful event. Anything we can do to bring the young people of Northern Ireland, especially at that age group, together and to play football together and meet new friends together, I think it's very important. There's not like as many girls team as you hope there'll be, but it's it's good coming down. This event was very important to us and we were glad to be picked for it because the girls don't get an awful lot of football as ladies and playing against different girls teams. Obviously they've played in the boys teams before, but it's great to come up to a boys tournament and play against girls, uh, especially with very good facilities and good numbers of girls playing. There's girls and boys here. Uh, and that has been the saving grace of sport in the city and the saving grace of soccer in the city as well. I mean, even just for today, you can see everybody here from Rosario is a volunteer. And normally on any normal week, we have 100 volunteers turned into 300 hours a week. So you can see there's a tremendous effort. And Danny and Maureen have done tremendous work today. You can see teams wouldn't be coming back here if they didn't like the tournament. And you can see we're having to nearly turn away teams because it's been such a success. So if we could have the pitch more, we could do more. But just, it's all volunteers and I think it's a great credit to everyone. Big steps have been made in the last few, uh, few years as way of youth provisions, but big steps still need to be made. Um, sort of more facilities like this, more artificial grass facilities, 3G facilities for younger sided games. You can see today we are playing on a improved 11 a side pitch to make it down to size, but if you had sort of facilities that were just for 9 a side, 7 a side, we'd see a big, big improvement in years to come in the standard of professional football here as well, not just youth level. More money would be great to invest in it, but I mean, I think the, the bigger pool of players that you can get from it at a young age, it's going to improve the balance and filter up through the, the teams and obviously hopefully improve the, the national team as well. Hopefully, they're going to uh, get funding, possibly to put down a 3G pitch. Now, a 3G pitch to me is one of the best investments that could be made at the moment. If you've got a 3G pitch, you can play football all year round, you can play at any time if you've got the lights. And I hope that Rosario and I hope that the people who are looking at funding will realise the work that 
the people here have put into it and certainly will help them achieve the funding to get their 3G pitch.